Hey guys, makeup star here. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> yes, it's me. Um, first, um, I'm starting out with this pigment by Shaney Cosmetics. Um, at first, I wasn't gonna use this, but I couldn't resist. It was just way too pretty to pass up. So um, I started out with this pigment um, and just basically patted it around, basically forming where I want my glitter to lie. So then I went in with this blue shade by the crayon case. And honestly, when I started to blend it out, it turned like a little turquoise color. Uh, I'm not sure why that happened because when I did the last look and I used that blue, it came on blue. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the concealer or if it's just those two colors meshing together. Don't know why it turned that color, but it did. So. I'm just gonna blend this out basically packing on that blue shade blend it out pack it on blend it out nothing different I'm just using these same two shades So moving on to the fun part which is the glitter um, this glitter right here came in a bundle set and look at me I I don't know what is up with me and glitter but I have a love-hate relationship with glitter I always spill it and it's just way too messy for me but anyways I am packing on this glitter primer by NYX um, and I got this uh, glitter from Desora Cosmetics you guys already know um, you can head over to their website uh, and get this. This is actually in a bundle set. I got this, so I didn't get it individually. I got it with about four other glitters, different colors. Um, and if you decide to purchase this, then uh, go ahead and use my code MAKEUPSIDE16 at checkout for money off. And um, <laughs> I said that kind of dry, like money off. <laughs> But, uh, no, seriously, use my code. But, uh, I am basically packing on this nothing. I'm not doing it any particular way, but I'm definitely trying to stay, like, where I packed on that blue pigment. And just basically making it nice and cute like this. okay so moving on to the next look honestly guys this is my favorite one i know it's like the simplest one out of all of them but this one is my favorite um simply because of the colors and i i adore pastel colors and i think it's the white line for me um just going through that i don't know i'm a pretty simple girl but it doesn't take much <laughs> So, um, I'm not going to do much talking during this part. It's pretty much self-explanatory um, to follow along. And it's actually pretty easy to follow along. Um, I'll be back when needed. <laughs>
so i am back and um right here i'm basically patching um where i want my uh, eyeshadow to lay um i'm taking like different eyeshadows of course you guys already know i'm gonna show you um and just randomly placing them place places randomly placing them in certain places <laughs> And not no particular way. You can mix it up if you want to as well. I, I'm not even sure where I was going with this either. I just wanted those colors to look like the mask. So I basically just went with what I was seeing on my own eye and not basing it off the mask. Um, and just basically figuring out where I wanted it to be. But I mainly made the main color uh, that pastel purple because that was like the main color in the mask. Um, itself so um once i went in with this dark purple right here i basically took my eyeshadow brush and basically blended those colors together and this is where i say it was kind of tedious because i use a nyx jumbo white liner pencil and i used the um a eyeliner brush and honey <sighs> It was like I got it that first time, but I had to like angle my hand, make sure my my hand was properly placed on my face. And you guys seen I made a mistake right here. Um, honestly, I don't really, you know, I know that people make mistakes during these eyeshadow tutorials. They just don't want you guys to see it, which is fine. You know, I do that sometimes, no lie. But like, I really want you guys to see like this, those lines that people be doing on their eyes and stuff are kind of difficult because you have to have a sturdy hand and honestly my nerves was they were a little shaky <laughs> so i have to keep going back in like okay sis we got to get this right and overall it came it turned out it came it turned out calm it down <laughs> it turned out pretty like i just went in i made my mistakes i just I learned how to fix it sometimes you know stuff may not come out the way you want it but trust me it's always a tool that'll fix it period and definitely this little brush right here came in handy honey and i just went in where i seen mistakes and just made it even and voila it turned out beautiful Once I was done with the lines, I went in with that brush again and just basically marked like these little white specks on my eye. And that is because that's what was on the mask. It was like these little white specks on there. They was actually circles, like little white circles, but honestly, I didn't want to do that. So I took my little smudger brush right here and just basically like, like patted them in just so it can give it that appearance like splatter marks. But, um... I'll wipe, I always do this with my eyeshadow though. I take a a, a face wipe and then um, basically make my the ends of my eyeshadow a little bit more sharper. So whenever I go in with liner, it'll be a little bit easier for me to know like where my liner should start and where it should end. Um, if you guys want a more in-depth eye liner tutorial, definitely let me know. I'll be sure to do that. Um, but for me, eye eyeliner is like a breeze. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these lashes on. I'm basically wearing the same pair of lashes for every single look. I'll be sure to have that in the description box also. If you are a subscriber, hey girl, welcome back. <laughs> so I guess you're wondering why I'm here. Mm, I guess I'm ordering that same thing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I'm here because, well, I'm just gonna start something new on my channel. I wanna start something new, refresh, and fun. Here I have a mystery scripture. I know, probably wondering where it is in the Bible. But if you already know where it is in the Bible, go ahead and comment that below. First one to comment this scripture and where it is located in the Bible will receive a shout out. You'll receive a shout out on my YouTube, you'll receive a shout out on my Instagram, and you'll receive a shout out on my Snapchat. <laughs> so if you're not following me on those platforms, you might wanna do that now. 
So just to make my page fun and incorporate God in everything that I do, go ahead and figure out where this scripture belongs. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Bye. Okay, so right here I am putting on this uh, kind of like bronzy brown, light brown shade. I'm saying too many shades. <laughs> A light brown shade. And honestly, guys, it did not show up whatsoever. It doesn't, look at this. It doesn't matter how much I packed on. It just blended right into this shade. So maybe it'll show up on maybe like a, a, a P. Louise uh, base, I guess. Because it did not show up on this base. And this is the Juvia's Place uh, concealer in the shade J12. And that's fairly light for my skin tone. So I thought it would have showed up. But this is the second time of me using this shade and it did not show. So it was senseless of me to keep on packing this on. And I already knew that it was not going to show up. But just to complete my curiosity, I just kept, kept packing it on. But for this look, honestly, guys, is nothing for me to say but to just to watch it. Um, and it'll be basically like a visual learning because it for me, I didn't really know where I, what, how I wanted to do this look, how I wanted to do this side. So I just went with the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse theme. Um, fun fact, Mickey Mouse is my favorite character, always has been, always will be. And for me, this was super, super fun um and it just brought back so many memories but anyways um i'll you guys already know how i do do the subtitles gotcha i gotcha so y'all can follow along i don't gotta do so much talking i'll probably be back later
So here I am using that same color again, wasting my time once again. No, I'm just <laughs> I actually just did a tutorial on this, the four looks, uh, four palettes where I did a neutral look um, with using this and then doing a cut crease and it actually turned out super, super bomb. I'll have that link below and above. But um, yeah, uh, I ended up using the NYX Glitter Primer um, to basically cut my crease instead of using concealer. I didn't want to waste any concealer pack that it made no sense to use concealer to cut my crease when I'm just putting on glitter. And I didn't need anything that was underneath it um, for my glitter. So I ended up, I wanted it to be around cut crease at first but then i was like no that side is pretty dramatic so i'm gonna drag this out and make this side more dramatic since it, it is a half mask we definitely want each side to be different um and you guys already know i love cleaning up the edges of my cut crease i don't want to leave it especially being that i'm putting on glitter and you guys i like i said i have a love-hate relationship when it comes to glitter and this glitter i'm using is the nyx holographic uh glitter I didn't show it. I don't know why I didn't show it, but I'll definitely have that link below. I actually have had this glitter for like a two years now, and I'm, I'm almost gone. Honestly, I thought I had a full one. I don't know why I thought that. But when I opened it, I was like, sis, where's the rest of my glitter? <laughs> how did I, where did it go? How, how much of it have I been using? But anyway, <laughs> I don't know, but it, it came out perfect. As long as you cut your crease up um, very, very clean, the glitter should come on just as clean, just like I'm doing now. And then, of course, you want to clean it up on the edges, and it is perfect. So that is the end of this tutorial i truly truly hope that you guys enjoyed it i already got my disclaimer i'm not giving it again <laughs> no but i was seriously just bored in the house and the house bored so i decided to do this very creative thing on my channel and i hope that you guys enjoyed it as always please feel free to hit that subscribe button before you guys leave don't forget to like and comment on this video and i hope to see you guys in the next video thanks again for watching bye